right now. Meet Melbourne's golden silversmith, Inna Barry, as she reveals her influences and inspiration. My grandmother had really, really beautiful jewellery collections when I was growing up and I got to play with them a lot. My mother was Latvian and it's a really important part of um, Latvian culture. The jewellery represents lots of their deities and so we had beautiful things around and they were very magical and um, the Latvian jewellery in particular is very medieval. My grandmother's jewellery was very, she had lots of beautiful Victorian, quite eccentric, obscure pieces. And I was just fascinated by it. I started making jewellery because I was really, really passionate about it. And also, I wanted a particular pair of earrings, which are actually these little earrings, these little hoops. And at the time, I couldn't get anything like that. And I was from a family of makers. We used to make all sorts of things, and we were always on the tools in the back shed, or making clothes or whatever and so um, it just made sense to me to just look at how to make them and just make them myself. I was lucky enough that the very first piece of jewellery that I made when I was studying, someone bought it from me that day because they really liked it and it just went on from there. Pretty much everything that I made, people would buy it straight away. So it was an easy decision to make to um, become a jeweller, even though I had had plans to do something else, but this is, was really what I wanted to do. And because I wanted to do it, I did it, you know, every waking moment I was just completely obsessed and had so much energy. I eventually opened up the shop. Um, that was the next step after I'd been making things for a while. It was a tiny weeny little shop in Block Place, in a really, really bustly, busy part of the city. Tiny little shop and so I had a um, beautiful old dis display cabinet and the window, but I had my all my tools and everything in the back of the shop, so I was there making in the back of the shop while, you know, with everybody going by and then eventually it just expanded and I was able to um, have people come and help me, staff in the shop, and then I, um, you know, expanded the workshop, and the shop just became a shop, and everything just slowly evolved. I closed the shop, and I started to work from the studio, which I kept in Block Place by appointment, and I've pretty much kept that format, and so now I, I've moved here to MacKillop Street. I've been here for five years now, which is a beautiful tranquil space in the middle of the city. I have a wonderful group of clients that come to see me, whether it's for a gift or for a special occasion or people want to treat themselves. Now I'm working in the studio by appointment and just seeing clients making one-off pieces, it's far less production focused. It's much more individual pieces now. I have the tranquility to be able to design new things and uh, make beautiful things. What I'm known for I think is more the larger colourful stone combinations, pearl combinations. The quality is also a point of difference. My jewellery is very heavy and I use good materials and um, it does have a real feel about, you, you know you're wearing it, there is a bit of a, there's a weight to it. I make things that I will want to wear and I like things that are rich and colourful. I like jewellery to look like it's telling a story or that it has a history or um, also that it's something special to the wearer. I think that people, um, particularly with jewellery more than with clothing or other things, they imbue a bit of themselves often to, into a piece of jewellery. It'll be something that was their mother's or the grandmother's or someone's given it to them or they bought it when they were travelling somewhere and it'll 
there's something about jewellery that holds quite a lot of emotion and I find that very fascinating. I'm making bigger, more beautiful, more luscious things and my, a lot of my lovely clients from the shop are still coming to see me now, all these years later. Um, a lot of my clientele is repeat clients and, and that's very rewarding. I really love coming to work, so I, when I walk in the doors, I come in and I think, ah, oh, what a great place to spend the day. And then I'll see the beautiful clients and they'll come in and we'll have a good time and we'll make something gorgeous and they'll walk out with something that they love. I'm on the bench and I'm making everything as had been my inspiration from the beginning. After all these years, still so passionate about it and I still love it 